how can 3D artists take advantage of artificial intelligence? In this video, I'm going to show you 10 artificial intelligence tools that 3D artists can use in their pipeline to generate 3D models, or also for texturing or for generate motion on 3D characters. Let's get started. So the first artificial intelligence tools that we're going to see is Meshi AI. With this tool, you can basically generate 3D models from text prompts, or you can generate them from uh, um, images, or from, uh, or you can generate basically directly the textures for a 3D model. The quality of the output, of course, differs based on the license you have. In the free version, you probably won't get the best results, but if you have the pro version, you will get better results. And Machine AI also offers uh, a plugin, um, plugin for Blender. So directly from Blender, you can use it, and you can generate text prompts, and you can get the results there. The second tool is Masterpiece X. And as you will see here in the official trailer, you can generate uh, many 3D models from text prompts. And again, the quality is not the best one, but uh, for quick prototyping, this is very useful. The third tool is um, Mesh Capate. And with this one, you can generate motion from text. Uh, you can generate motion from video. And, <laughs> and you can generate body shapes from images. So this is not for 3D models, but is anyway related to the um, 3D world. And uh, the fourth one is 3dfy.ai. And with this one, you can, does it work? Yes. You can generate 3D models from text prompts. Uh, as you can see here, there is a basic uh, text prompt. Then, of course, you can add some tags if you want it high resolution or not. And it will generate the 3D model accordingly. Okay, this one is Avatar and is specifically for 3D avatars. You can generate a 3D avatar that looks like yourself and you can customize the, the, the avatar afterwards. Luma AI um, provides this tool over here, give me one second, to generate basically 3D models from text. And this is compatible with the Blender as well, so you can use it directly in Blender. These examples are all generated with this tool. And of course, as I said before, the quality differs based on the prompt, but also based on the uh, license you have. Alpha 3D lets you generate 3D models from um, images. And here there are some examples of uh, 3D models that were generated. Spline is another tool, is uh, more basic compared to the other ones, and is mostly for low poly. And you can generate basically 3D text, um, some basic 3D experiences, and um, some 3D characters, a bit, uh, well, mostly cartoonish 3D characters. Another one that I want to highlight is Adobe. Adobe released um, Adobe Firefly and then Tarsuite and it's embedding Adobe Firefly in uh, other tools, other apps from Adobe. And one of these is Adobe Substance 3D. So they will be very soon, if not, if not they're already there, basically, probably. Uh, in Adobe um, Substance 3D, there will be uh, artificial intelligence features. And one of these is to generate textures for uh, 3D models. You can find more information in the links in the descriptions about all of these. Another one is Mondial 3D that is compatible also with Blender and it allows you to type some text prompts directly from the, from Blender in the plugin and then it generates the 3D model for you. Okay, that's pretty much everything for today. Don't forget to read the description of this video, especially if you're watching this video from a desktop computer and leave a like and subscribe. Bye.